Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To God be the glory. We are here at the star. And the word of God says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name and make known his deeds among the people. So this morning we are saying, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Truly it's a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord. Then the David goes on and say, Sing unto the hymn and sing praises until thy holy name. Sing praises and talk to you all of his wonderful, awesome work that he's doing here on earth. The third verse goes on and say, Glory, glory you in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice and seek the Lord. Truly we come this morning here on the 29th of November 2020. Embarking upon this week we call as Thanksgiving. But don't you know every day is a day of Thanksgiving? But on this coming Thursday we'll be celebrating. And I pray that you'll be celebrating with your family. And I'm going to say it, but I'm going to try to take heed to stay in the house with the ones you stay in, in your house. Stays with you in your house. But here at 907 MLK Drive, Fairmont, North Carolina, our 1015 service. We're honored to serve as the under shepherd here, Samuel Shropshire. But we come today to the lift up the name of Jesus. Oh, if you want to hear or tell somebody, we are live on Facebook. You can find us or tell them they can find us. Star Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church. And also, I'm asking that you tell a friend and, and you make sure that you do these two things. I would like you to. I would like you to, when you go on YouTube, press subscribe and share. And when you're on Facebook, I ask that you press like. Share this message to with someone. To God be the glory. And if your phone is already have not been set to alert you, just go ahead and hit that little bell and so that you, anytime that the star go live, you'll be notified. I'm still learning it. Well, if you don't have Facebook and you don't have access to YouTube, I'll call 1-351-888-6543. If the line is busy, dial 209. 399-9026. Then it would ask you to enter your number. Dial 1351-888-6543. I praise God that I don't hear too many people have to use that by being busy. I thank you for tuning in at 1015 and not earlier than that. Because of social media. It's being bombarded with so many using access of the this type of system. We say thank you. Our theme as the year approaching, eyes have not seen, nor heard, excuse me, eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, neither have it entered into the heart of man. The things which God have prepared for them who loves him. To God be the glory. What a clear vision. And we're still going on with a series this week. And talking about your vision. But our vision here. And we say at the start. Who are you going to serve in 2020? You got two months left. A month and a half left. But here at the start. We say Jesus Christ. With a clear vision. To motivate to empower the body of Christ, to activate the gift within. And again, our motto at the start, 
at the star we are one by grace and when you come down to everybody level and worship the Lord the Lord will show up and show out so Heavenly Fathers we hear on one accord we're here this morning to worship you we're here this morning to praise your holy name we're here this morning to give thanks and you said in your word oh give thanks unto the Lord so Lord we thank you for this beautiful day on the 29th day of November like it's summertime in the winter time God we just thank you for shining down your mercy upon us today. Now, God, we lift up the choir, the instruments, everything that we have prepared to worship you. We ask one touch from you. Touch the choirs, touch the minister of music, the drama. God, we just need one touch from you. One touch, oh God, over the airways. Oh God, touch right now in the name of Jesus. All out in the parking lot. Touch right now in the name of Jesus. God, we just say thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for being so good to us. So, God, we lift this service up to you. Have your way, God, in this service. It's truly a blessing to be back in the house of the Lord. Outdoors, church without walls, coming to worship you today. Do it, oh God. We'll continue to give you the praise and honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus.
Hallelujah. That's right. Blow your horn, all ye people. Hallelujah. Give another round of applause for our choir. To God be the glory. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Don't let it go. In the midst of everything going on, hold on to God's unchanging hand. To God be the glory. It's truly a blessing to be back into the house of the Lord. And me and First Lady took a little under the radar activity. And thank you, Star, for doing an awesome job. And before I do that, then I want to just say to the, all the ministers of the Star, Reverend Rob and Reverend Audrey, William, Minister Allison, Washington, Reverend Minister Washington, and blessed to have First Lady with us. God bless you. We thank God for our deacons and deaconess. We thank God for the trustees. We thank God for the star family. We thank God for the Facebook listeners. Thank God for the, those on the conference call. Thank God for those in the parking lot. To God be the glory. To the, God be the glory. Hallelujah, mouth sticking, but to God be the glory. But I want to pause here. And say to Minister Ellison, I kind of feel it still going on Ryan here. Get ready, get ready. I told her on a side note, I when I first listened to it, I was able to be with our mother on uh, last week. And when I heard get ready, get ready, I thought mama had turned the dial to all the way down into Texas. But Alpha kept on listening. I said that was Minister Ellison. I want to thank God for her, allowing God to use her in a special way. I thank God for Minister Washington, a tag team. I mean, she can start a fire, make a fire. She don't put them out. Ah, I'd say, boy, we had a double-double on last Sunday. But I like the teamwork about the star. Do you know the acronym as team? You see it in... Uh, for motivation why together everyone achieve more and when we work as a team here at the star God will receive all the glory so we just want to say thank God for you star family minister of music Reverend Rob and Zach on the drums and Felicia singing and all of you Natasha recorded and I believe baby girl was there too but all of you star we want to say thank you for allowing us to just take a breather. Yeah. But I promise you, we did tag in. I thank God for the Bible study. Thank God for Minister Ellison leading that. And I think it just cranked up the fire to get ready for Sunday. It's a preparation when you preach the gospel. You just got to listen to God. I thank God for the Sunday school. And again, I'm going to punch in here every Wednesday night. Every Wednesday night from 6 to 7, Bible study. You can be able to go on, dial the number that you dial today. On Thursday, Sunday school, good teaching. And I tell you, it's a teamwork. But I want to inform you, Star Family. Some of you just going to make it a shout. We will not be having Bible study on Wednesday night. We will see you the following week. I want to say it's the second. But just the next Wednesday, we're just going to take off time because the ladies, and I just say, well, sometimes men folks be preparing for Thanksgiving too. But we are, uh, yeah, my first lady done said amen, so I will be doing something. Some pig feet and some, oh, stay on it, Pastor. Okay. Uh, uh, on Wednesday, we will not have Bible study. That's not telling you not to read your Bible. It's not telling you not to pray. I want you to act just like you are on Bible study. While you cooking, do like the old mother's doing. The old father, just hum while you're cooking. While you're moving through the kitchen. You can make the pots rattle. Make sure something is in it. Just don't be making noise and ain't cooking. But to God be the glory. And then on Thursday, our Sunday school will be postponed to the following Thursday. This is a time that you can be able to relax from eating so hard, but don't overdo it. Amen. But when you eat hog chillers and 
pinto bean black eyed peas and cornbread and mm, and some pig feet and just sucking on that knuckle. Oh my God. All right. I'm just letting you know, because at our house, my baby, she cook enough that if you eat at noon, you can start back up that evening. And I like that na next day cooking. Friday's a good day. A lot of y'all want to go shopping. I just start back eating. All right. But I just, my point is this. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And if you find that you don't have nothing to eat, you need to call somebody and let them know. We'll drop it off. I ain't starting nothing, but I just want to know, let you know, here at the star, we are one in the body of Christ. We are one in grace. So if we are eating, I want you to eat. So tune in. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. But also know the reason why we are celebrating or taking time out. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. That's what I ask that you do. Well, I, I'm, I'm trying to stay on point, but I, I'm seeing a miracle child coming up. And, and, and uh, y'all just give a blow your horn, clap your head. Look at God. Hallelujah. Y'all know in the days what they call Steve Austin, we got our own sister here. She's got her bonnet leg on, and that sister's ready for the Lord. Clap your hand, blow your horn, oh you people. You can go ahead and turn around on her. Let them look at America child. A God have blessed. I know you might not, you might mind, you might, but you had to stop. And we thank God for you, Patricia. Yeah. To God, but you want to come on up and you can say something to the people. You can, you got to yield to you to say something. Tell them like the God that you serve. My God, went in for an appointment and all of a sudden they find out that they had to appetite. I'm telling you, but see her spirit has been so high. I'm going to tell a little bit more of business. Our youth here in the community, some of them, this is the teacher. My sister, in the spite of her condition, she's teaching the youth, helping them with virtual learning. And I give God all the praise. Let's give you a hand and clap of praise. And mama sits right like there in the back. She kind of keeps a low profile. And I'm going to just say it in a comfortable way that she kind of low profile. She's a patron fan. But since uh, Kim have come over to the Patriots, she done chill out a little bit because Carolina is in the house. If we win it or not, keep on pounding. And that's what your daughter's doing. She keep on pounding for the Lord. Every step is a closer walk with him. He guides her and he keeps her. Oh yeah, I, I had to go there. Wasn't on the script, but I tell you, I'm a preacher that I just take what's around me in the atmosphere. When the Lord says, speak, I speak. So Patrice, God bless you. God bless you. You sure you don't want to say nothing? All right, to God be the glory. That smile. One more thing about my sister. She was hard on her daughter, Dez. She was on her. Dad said she act like she my mama, but she is my mama. But Dad's was the mama. Now since mama is on, not just recovering, she doing good. Dad's is in charge, shown up. I don't know where she's at, but she must have got permission to come out today. But to God be the glory. And got auntie over there. That's that hidden secret, Sister Moore. And and, and the dad, and no wonder dad over there singing hard this morning. Uh -huh. We're gonna let it, we're gonna turn them loose. I don't know if you had dead in a long time. You may want to go over there and help him out. I know when you was a little girl, you might have was holding on to his coat. I don't know. But you at home. God bless you. Thank you. And I see Deaconess out there. Uh, Robinson, God bless you. She wanna come to this mic, but I won't not today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because she know I'm gonna be doing what I'm doing, talking. And just want to say again to Minister Ellison, God bless your mother. Beautiful job. Awesome word. 
and it's been rolling all in my spirit. Get ready, get ready. And bottom line, she's just letting you know time is winding up. And I want to say it to let you know how God works. In the spiritual realm, God was speaking in my spirit what she was preaching about. And if you notice what I started out on, it, that's why I'm saying I love the star. We on one accord for the Lord. Ain't nobody looking for no glory, but all the glory belongs to him. And we are blessed to have again First Lady here. We want you to continue doing this holiday. Don't get too relaxed. Remember those three W's. They say, wash your hand. Wear your mask. What's that third one? All right, huh? And keep that distance. I told the leaders yesterday because a minister in our meeting on Friday night shared this, and, and I've been telling the star. Those three W's and one said that distance, you want to keep that distance? If you go into a shopping place, get you a shopping cart. I don't care if you're going to get some chewing gum. Get you a shopping cart, get in line, and put the shopping cart behind you. That'll help some of that six feet because there are some folks think they can't catch it. They done bust up in there and they ain't preaching, but they don't have no mask on. I got mine, but I'm talking hard right now. God be the glory. Star, God bless you. Thank you for those that was on the leadership call on yesterday. Thank you for tuning in. We still got work to do in the midst of COVID-19. And I want to say thank you, Star Family, for all that you are doing. Mother Zula is yet holding on. Man said one thing, God saying another one. God said, you shall live. <laughs> when there's life in the body, there's hope. I know that because I visit her, and I'm not just telling you what I've been doing, but I got to tell this. When man say you're not responding, you're not doing this, I went in and I had to call and say, y'all better come in here. I know what you're trying to do or plan to do. You better come in here and check this out. I said, Mother Zula. She opened her eyes. She looked over at me. And not only she looked over at me, the nurse came on in with that look like she's not doing that. And Mother Zula said, she looked over at her. So don't you try God. What I'm saying, if you try God, He's all right. I thank God a praise report for my mother. As I was on the leadership call, she had to go to the hospital about this blood clock, but she talked with her this morning. She's doing well. Our Daisy, our Janie, all of you that is going through, God is still in charge. And this is a time and a day that we can say, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. I think I'd uncovered, if I hadn't, I'll tell you about it later. We're getting ready to hear this awesome choir. But I would like you to grab your Bible and go to the first book of the Bible. The one that say in the beginning. The book that we call the beginning. The book of Genesis. We'll be looking at the 19th chapter. The 14th verse, Genesis, the 19th chapter, 14th verse. And like I had told you on the second Sunday, this forming, in, forming into a series. But right now, I'm just going to preach. I'm truly blessed to see my sister. Oh, my God. Genesis, the 19th chapter, the 14th verse. And you will find these words. King James Version. And Lot went out and spoke unto his son-in-laws, which married his daughters, and said, Up! Get you out of this place. The Lord will destroy this city. 
but it seems as one who marketed unto him his son-in-law. I'm going to tell you, but they, got, they joked at him like, man, you crazy. The 15th verse, I will read that for your hearing. And when the morning arose, <laughs> I can sing on that. Then the angels hasted Lot. Means said, you need to get up. Come on, let's go. Saying, arise. Take your wife, watch this, and your two daughters, which are here, lest you be consumed in the iniquity of the city. My God. We're going to pause right there and I, I, so that you can be praying on it. If we can use for, in this phase of this series, you remember we talked about checking our vision. We talked last time, sin will blind you. We just want to say in this phase, it's a checkup time. But in this checkup time, there's a question that I would like to say and leave with you as a subtopic. Do you want to go to the city or do you want to go to the mountain? Let's go, choir.
That's all right. Let's give them another round of applause. Blow your horn on ye people. Hallelujah. Come on now. You can do better than that. That was the father of the miracle child. I call her that. He just showing out. But that's all right. When you love praising the Lord and saying he's my rock, my soul, shield, in the middle of God. No, Ezekiel was telling us that, but you got to know him for yourself. And when you sing that, I'm going to let him go because that's my song too. But it's Doug's song, like Brother Moore's song today. <laughs> the bicycle man himself riding a scooter. Yeah. I'm going to go and tell some of his business right quick and I'm going to pray. Hallelujah. He got his license now. Yeah, boy. He said, I ran all over the town faster, running cross country, doing all this martial art. I'm tired. I had to go get my license. <laughs> so, Star, we're going to pray for him to get him a car. And if he's safe to drive, I hadn't seen him drove nothing but a bicycle and a moped. He say he can drive. So I'm going to have to test him out before we put him in harm's way. And he say he can drive a bin, but before he drive my bin, he's going to ride around. I got to see him ride around the bin. That me going around the corner, hitting these curves. I had a member told me he could drive. He got in the car. Zach, you know what I'm talking about. I got in the car, slid the seat up close to the steering wheel, had a necktie on, and he matched the gas and started turning the steering wheel. The necktie got in the steering wheel. I said, stop! <laughs> Son, you can't drive. Get out of the car. <laughs> Laugh is good for the soul. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Quite beautiful musicians, beautiful job. Heavenly Father, as we come to say a word from you we come this hour god to say what you have laid on my heart and it's been in the crock pot took a break from it oh god but was able to just pick it right back up it was a mm -mm, good so god as we go forward in this series and uh, checking our vision i need you oh god you said whoa unto me if i don't preach a gospel so God, here I am, your child. Use me, God. And as your word go out, God, it will accomplish what you mean for it to do. It would not come back forward. Touch the minds and the hearts, oh God. The word will soothe their soul, their spirit. We give you praise. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Yeah, I'm one of those old country preachers. I don't mind. You can get so dignified and can't be, mm, y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm just being me. Amen. To God be the glory. But here we find, and just a recap to knowing that we've been talking in the book of Genesis. And this meaning that in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. And that's the way it starts out. So Genesis means the beginning. As I stated, it was written during the time of 1445 and 1405. Just a recap, and Moses was the author of this reading, and, and then it was around in the Mideast. But here we talked about last week, or the week before last, about Lot. Lot is the person we want to talk about, but don't get caught up on Lot. Put your name where Lot's name is so that you can find out in the question when you're checking your vision. And the question is asking you, do you want to go to the city or go to the mountain? Lot had a situation that he was told to go to the mountain. But Lot wanted to go to the city. How many of us are guilty, want to go somewhere that we want to go, but God is telling us to go this way, but we want to go 
another way. Well, well, it, that's called disobedient. But here, Lot was here. He, God told Lot, and I, I can't recap everything, so just look at I'm picking up on the 14th verse of the 19th chapter. Lot went out. He spoke unto his son-in-laws, and he said, uh, look here, partners. I'm going to paraphrase. We got to get up out of here. If something's going to happen in this city, and I want you to come on because you married my daughters, let's go. We got to get up out of here. But they just start laughing and joking and said, this man must be crazy. We're parting up in here. We ain't going nowhere. I like what's going on. And sometimes we are guilty the same way. The Spirit of the Lord or some family member tell you, hey, we need to get up out of here. Something going down. Oh, man, I'm partying. I'm having a good time. I just stopped by to tell you, we got some lot spirits in 2020. Want to party hearty and lot of dot everybody and, and saying time is going to be all right. But I'm going to just plug in, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because if you're not ready, watch what happened. Lot was telling them, let's go. Not only did Lot said, if you follow along with me from the last message, those two men, which was angels, were sent by God to tell Lot to get up out of this place. Yeah, yeah. But Lot had a problem too, and we sometimes may be guilty of having these problems. Lot was saying his son-in-laws, uh, they kind of distrusted him. Meaning they didn't trust him. Say, man, what is he talking about? Lot went out and, and as he spoke to his son-in-laws, uh, he said, look here, you married my daughter. So it, the word say, whoever is kin to you, you need to get up out of here. God, that's the God that we serve. God said, if you are righteousness, you're living like God wants you to live. God said, I will save your whole family. But when I tell you to move, you got to move. If you want to try to stay there with them, you don't. I say, I'm giving you opportunity. And God today has given us opportunity. So I want you to go to the mountain. Yeah, yeah. But we find Lot, and we got a lot of Lot spirits in 2020. They want to go to the city. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean, Pastor? Well, he said, he, he went on and he sat down. Uh, uh, and while he, talking about Lot, he lingered around, meaning Lot just. Like, you know, I want to go, but I, I like what's going on here, too. I know I'm saved, but, man, I like the pardon, Rob. I like what's going on, but you, I told you what was going on, too. Everybody been blaming the president. Oh, I said I wasn't going to be tender to find that way. But anyway, the sin was existing in the beginning. Y'all know where I'm talking about. Just read it. But a lot of folk blaming people for it, but Lot saying he was liking what was going on, but Lot said I wasn't doing it. But Lot was a judge, and Lot wanted to make money. Lot knew that there was revenue going in his pocket, and looking over the people's sin, he wasn't doing it. Too many people playing with God, sin and in sin, because they're making a profit, they allow it to go on. But God said, I, I want you, Lot, to, to get your family up out of here. And he went on, said they procrastinated. I tell you, procrastination is sin. When you're supposed to do something, you put it off. And I'm just telling you, I, I, I come close to it sometime because I like to put off. I'm a type of person, work at the last minute, and make it happen. But let me tell you, play with God. When he tell you to move, you got to move. If we was down home in Stonesboro, someone may cry out. When God get ready, you got to move. They don't say it like that, but I'm a, I will just leave it alone. But all he's saying is that the old folk was giving work. People thought they couldn't read, but you got to listen to what they are saying. He said, when God get ready, you're going to move. I don't care what's going on. So Lot was hesitating. And Lot told his son-in-laws, and they was joking like, man, we'll stand here and party. But it says here, watch this, and it came to pass, watch this, and they, 
and excuse me, when they, it came to pass, when they, and that day, we're talking about those two angels. Watch this here. Uh, uh, they have brought them forth aboard that he, one of the angels, said, escape, from your, escape for your life. And look not, watch this, look not behind you. Neither say, neither stay you in the plain. Don't stay where you at. Don't stay in the city. You need to escape right now. Bottom line, run. Get ready, get ready. Because he's coming back again. But there was something going to happen to the city. But watch this. That's why I asked the subtopic that. Do you want to go to the city? Or do you want to go to the mountain? Here I go. I'm, I'm going to walk it down. Uh, he said here, escape. Watch this. Uh, to the mountain. I hope you uh, re look at it when you get home. God told him. The angels told him to go to the mountain. But watch this. Lest you be consumed. He said, I'm telling you where to go. But God said, I'm a just God. And I want you to know that Lot was covered up under Abraham. God had told Abraham uh, that Lot will live. Uh, Lot will come out of that city. But with, when Lot and his family come out of the city, Watch this. And Lot said unto them, Oh, not so, my Lord. Sometimes we like to rationalize with God. God telling us where we need to go. And we're going, Lord, no, no, Lord, give me just a few more minutes. Lord, I need to wait till I retire. Lord, I need to wait till my child get out of school. Lord, I need to, I need, I need, I need. God said, get up. Out of here. Uh, I'm telling you uh, to go to the mountain. Uh, but we're going to find out uh, we have these lot spirits. Uh, we want to go uh, to the city. Because God's word never come back for it. Because what he promised Abraham, God had to bag off. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you go back a few chapters here, not too many, you will find Abraham had tried it way back and said, if you can find 50 righteous, he broke it all the way down. But Abraham said, I'm not messing with it this time. I'm going to let Lot go on and figure this out himself. I know God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask for. According, oh my God, when God speak it, but God that we serve is a just God. It goes on and said, Lot said uh, unto them, oh, not so, Lord. Behold now, watch this, your servant have found grace in your sight. And you have magnified your mercy. He let God know, God, you truly have blessed me. You've been so good to me. But God, I ain't ready to go to the mountain right now. But he said, wait a minute. He said, when you have shown up, shown unto me. And save my life. He went on. He said, and I cannot escape. Watch this. Lot talking to God. God done showed up. Now, y'all were trying to find us Jesus in the beginning. You better read your word. But he, he said, look here. Lord, I, I'm not really ready to go. I, I, I want it. What about Brother Doug? Lot was just saying, if I need to get out of this area, let just say use here. God said, get out from around the under church of this area. He may tell us to go over on 41. But we say, Lord, I just want to go up there by the life center. I ain't dying here. I just want to go up by the life center. 
But Lot in that spirit is saying, I don't want to leave where I'm at, but I know brimstones and fire is coming. But if I can just get out to the edge of the city, it'll be all right. But God said, I told you to go to the mountain. But Lot said, Lord, uh, rationalizing with God, uh, you have shown up, uh, you have saving, you have saving my life, uh, saved my life, and uh, you cannot, I, watch this, oh, there go that I mess you up, I uh, cannot escape uh, to the mountain. Uh, that was one of his mess up, uh, when he said, I uh, can't escape uh, to the mountain. Uh, too many people uh, like what he had. <laughs> But they tell everybody uh, they want a change in their life. Uh, but they don't want to get out of the city. Uh, I ain't just talking about uh, Fairmont. Uh, I'm talking about in a spiritual realm. Uh, God want to use you. Uh, you want to stay in the mess you in. God is saying, get up out of there. Serve me every day. Every day is a day of thanksgiving. And God said, oh, Lord, I, I praise you. I'm going to just praise you on Thursday. I'm going to sit down with my family and just, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Mm -mm, let's eat. Well, God said, no. I want you to get up out of here. I want you to get up out of the sin you're walking in. I want you to get out of the situation. If I have blessed you, then be obedient to my word. Go to the mountain. But Lord say, Lord, uh, hey, there you go. This is the God that we serve. He's a just God. He said, I cannot escape to the mountain. Let's watch this. He's figuring out, and I, I find people like that. You're telling them the right thing, but they're trying to think for you. They're looking ahead and telling you what's there, but you still ain't went there. You want to stay where you're at. But watch what Lot said. I cannot escape to the mountain. Let some evil take me and I die. <laughs> Too many of us trying to think for God. I don't want to go over that right now, Lord, because I may die, God. Them some evil folks that, but if God tell you to go to the mountain, whatever your mountain may be, don't change up and go to the city. But God said, behold now, this city is near to flee unto. God said, I'm going to let you go, Lot. I'm going to let you go because that's what you want to do. But because I made a promise to Abraham, I'm going to have to save this hard-headed man. He said, but take your family. But I want you to know those son-in-laws were still parting. But he went on and he said, and this little one, <clears throat> oh, let me escape thither. It is not the little one and my soul shall live. One of our, what he was saying, Zoro is the city. And here, Zoro means a little place, a, a little city. So he said, I'm going to let you go to that little city. <laughs> my God, I don't want to speak nothing negative on Fairmont, but a lot of folks say Fairmont is a little place. But I want to tell you, it's a big city. We sitting on the mountain. Well, how you know because we at the star. In order to see a star, it's got to be up high. Oh, God, I, I thank you uh, for the star of Bethlehem. We are striving uh, to stay on the mountain. Uh, we are not there yet. Uh, the garage door is open. Uh, we are pressing uh, our way forward. Uh, we don't want to stay. Where we at? Uh, we want to move uh, up the mountain. But we got to do what God said. And he said, make haste. Escape quickly. For I cannot, watch this now, I'm going to show you. I cannot do anything till you come up out of Sodom. What God is telling us, 
there's wrath is coming. And he's saying his people that are called by my name and you humble yourself. But God telling us to get up out of this situation. I was listening last night and, and I was worth repeating uh, saying that, you know, uh, all these conflicts and stuff going on. People blaming it on people that are sinning, sin folks. You know what they brought out? And I said, that got some truth to it. So I'm going to repeat it. God is angry with saved folks. Because people that are sinning going to sin in the city. God is really mad and upset at those that he told to go to the mountain. I told you to tell people to tell them uh, the wages of sin is death. Uh, and the gift of God is eternal life. Uh, but you want to party uh, along with them. Uh, I'm a man. Uh, God is mad uh, of those that call themselves uh, Christian. Uh, he's mad at those that uh, speak his word uh, and their heart uh, is so far away uh, their heart uh, don't line up uh, with their mouth we worrying about folks sinning and our family sinning and they looking at you <laughs> said doggone you ain't living what you talking about <laughs> and you going to tell me where I'm going I'm going to hell I'll meet you there <laughs> See, the family can tell you that. Church first can't tell you that. Pastor can't tell you that. I can preach it. But in your house, when they tell you, you're going to hell, you better wake up and say, I need to. Determine I'm going to go in the city. Is I'm going to stay and go to the mountain. God is speaking. God is saying, check your eyes. What do you see? Check yourself. I tell them at the start, when we're doing communion, oh my God, where we at? Oh, I got to get out of here. I don't know if it was series three. Well, I tell you, when you're taking communion, uh, the word say, Paul said, let a man examine himself. Too many of us looking at other folks, trying to examine them. You're supposed to be at the mountain. <laughs> well, if I'm supposed to be at the mountain, why am I able to talk to you? Where are you supposed to be? <laughs> you must be in the city. <laughs> but I always tell them, when we're taking communion, look down <laughs> at yourself. <laughs> examine uh, yourself. <laughs> Don't look around. <laughs> Examine yourself. Find out. Are you on the mountain? Are you in the city? I'm not going to be able to finish this. But I'm going to just say this. Oh, my God. But look at here. This was a little city. And I tell you, Rob, I ain't going to get it. I can't get it. I can't finish it. For time-wise, I'm trying to respect that block time because folks want to go to listen to somebody. Else. But go. I'm going there. <laughs> yeah, we go. Uh, he went to the city. Uh, when he said, uh, I thank you for tuning in. Uh, but I got to tell it. Uh, the verse said, uh, God said, I'm talking. Uh, lot, all these people uh, in the city, uh, they are crazy. They are running wild. Uh, Shucking and jiving, doing what they want to do. But I'm telling you to get up out of here. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zara. And as I told you, Zara, a little place, a, a little city, a little one. The sun. But here, I'm going to park here just for a minute. In Thessalonians, First Thessalonians. Put it this way. But God, what I, what I wanted to bring out in closing, God is going to protect his children. Even in the midst, you got to sit in hell. In the midst of a situation you're trying to get out of. If God be for you, 
you know the rest. But Thessalonians said it this way, for God have not appointed us to wrath. Meaning, he's talking about believers now, uh, to go through a great tribulation. God said, nah, I will spare you, but you got to trust me. But to attain salvation only by the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, if you want uh, to escape tribulation, uh, what Revelation is talking about, uh, I stop by to tell you, uh, tribulation uh, can be around us now. Uh, but that great tribulation uh, is coming uh, for those uh, that don't trust God. Uh, those uh, don't give their life to God. Those uh, that's talking it uh, and they're living it uh, and their heart is doing the right thing. Uh, is that's who he's talking about. Uh, believe us. Uh, where are you going to go? To the city uh, or to the mountain? Uh, salvation by the Lord Christ. Uh, he said again, uh, this pertaining to uh, the rapture uh, of the church. Uh, get ready. Get ready. He's coming back. He's coming back uh, for uh, a church uh, that's uh, a church. Uh, oh my God. Uh, that's calling on his name. Uh, He's coming back uh, for a church. But tribulation trouble and afflictions of all kind you may experience but great tribulation suffering that shall overtake watch this that's that great that great getting up morning but this great tribulation suffering that shall overtake the wicked all right not those in the mountain, those in the city. And yeah, I, I, you said I jumped over. Yeah, you know the scripture. I, I don't need to preach about what happened. Fire came down. I want to let you know that there is going to be a great tribulation. And God is coming back. And he's looking for those that want to trust him. I'm looking for those that are real. If you sing, uh, let it be real. If you play, uh, let it be real. If you beat the drums, uh, let it be real. If you preach, uh, let it be real. If you in your car, uh, blowing your horn, uh, let it be real. God is coming back uh, for real people. Uh, those that are called by his name uh, have armored themselves. Uh, they turn. From their wicked ways, uh, said Lord, I'm waiting on you. Uh, whenever you come, uh, I gotta plug it in here. Cause I don't want you to get it twisted. Uh, I'm not ready uh, to go. Uh, I will leave. Uh, desire to leave uh, at 109. Uh, so I gotta go uh, to the mountain and wait uh, on the Lord. But suffering that shall overtake the wicked. This will happen, watch this, in the time, in time. Get ready. Get ready. But this, I must pull out. I got to share this. The tribulation of the saints. Watch this. And John said, I Say unto him, sir, <laughs> you know, he wasn't worshiping God right there. John was reverencing God. And that's what God want us to do. We want to worship and sing. But God said, do you reverence me? Do you honor and respect me that I'm Lord uh, over your life? Uh, I don't want you to just worship me. Do you reverence me? So John said uh, in Revelation uh, 714, uh, John put it this way. Uh, he said, I said unto him, uh, sir, watch this. Uh, you know <laughs> that John was just down to earth. You know, uh, you can look at your family and say, you know, uh, if you've been living right, uh, you know, uh, if you're living in the city, uh, you know, uh, if you own the mountain.
mountaintop. You know if you headed to the mountain or do you want to sit in the city? Look back into some Gomar watching them. Meaning, watch this here. Before I finish this, it's a lot family had become, watch this, this is that spirit, Lot family. And I sadly say, there are families today, it's comfortable where they at. In the society they're living in, they are comfortable living in sin, round sin. Staying in the city, and God said, go to the mountain. But Lot's wife, you know, she looked back. And God said, when I come back and I tell you to get ready, I say, get ready. And you look back, you will be like Lot's wife. Yeah, he talks about it in Luke. I ain't gonna be able to finish it. I'm just letting you know, Genesis to Revelation. God is saying, get ready. God is saying, where are you going to go? To the city or to the mountain? And I'm going to finish the scripture out. And he said to, to me, John talking, these are they, watch this. These are they that came out of the great tribulation, meaning that you weather the storm. And God is coming back for those that have been washed in the blood. God said, John said, uh, these are they which came out uh, of the great tribulation. Pacific group. I don't know what group you in, uh, but I'm going to be in that group. Uh, been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Uh, that great getting up on. Uh, I'm going to fly away uh, one great day. I got to go, I got to go, I got to go and have washed their, watch this, washed their robe uh -huh. and made them white. Yeah. Watch this. He tell you the only thing that can get you white. You can come on first Sunday with your white on, hat on, your suit on, your white towel. <laughs> yeah, I had to wipe that sweat. It come in. But look here. He said it made them white. Uh -huh. How did it make him, Pastor? In closing. White in the blood of the Lamb. They were saved by trusting, trusting, leaning, and depending on Jesus Christ. And what he have done at the cross. There's a part three. I went over, but we went over to the hill. <laughs> which cometh our help. <laughs> our help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Oh my God, he would not cause our foot to slumber nor sleep. But God said, I'm awake. And I just stopped by to tell you, where are you at? Are you living in the city? Are you living on the mountain? waiting for his return. But if you don't know, today is the day of salvation. You may come by letter. You may come on your Christian experience. And for those that are rid of your land and Facebook Live, regardless of your denomination, it may sound a little Baptist, but guess what? Jesus is saying this to you. If you ain't saved, give your life to Christ. We just say, here at the star, you have a chance. Wherever you may be, you backslide. And you have straight away, you don't have a church home. We're yelling to say, come and give your hand to the pastor and give your heart to Jesus. You may can't get touch my hand because of social distance. As long as you give your heart to Jesus and look to the hills which cometh for all of your help. Your help cometh from the Lord. Call us, 910-494-7077.
and we will do what we need to do. We got ministers around. If I can't talk to you, I'll contact you into someone else. But we just say, make a choice. Do you want to live in the city? Or do you want to live on the mountain? Heavenly Father, we pray that what have been said, God, that man will take heed. And when I say man, don't get it twisted. It's not a gender. Whomsoever will, let him come. Give their life to Christ. Your time. supposed to be going part three if you tune in next week you'll find out the choice lot made well don't 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 get it twisted he made the choice to go to the city but God is saying to us today you're in the situation I don't want you to be in 
but because I love you, because of your mother's prayer, because of your father's prayer, because of the church prayer, somebody's praying for your wicked ways, and my hand is on you, and I'm not through with you yet. So I got to protect you because I promised them. There's many folks lay way at night praying for their loved ones, and they just party hearty, lot of dotty. But because wrath have not fallen on them, it's because somebody is praying over them, and they think it's all them. Too many folks feel because they are doing good, that it's all right. Stay tuned to next week. Find how dangerous it is to play with God, thinking while you're in the city, you keep doing your do to do. And you'll find out you'll be just like them husbands. You get caught up in the fire. God bless you. I feel like going on preaching, going into a revival, but we can't tell it all today. I, let's give a round of applause to this awesome choir. <laughs> Minister Music, Reverend Rob, Zach, God bless you. Thank you. I just love what God is doing here at the Star. And it's getting harder and harder to try to lock down a time. But we do respect your time. Enjoy your week. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Remember, check on your neighbor. Just don't be sitting breaking bread with your family and your neighbors not eating. You can still do social distance. God bless you. Trace, God bless you. Thank you. You kind of gave me a little oomph to go in and look farther. I tried to get her to pat her feet, but she said, Pastor, he's set up for walking. <laughs> but she can clap her hand. I'm learning this technology. That's that new 21 Cadillac she's riding in. Daddy got her a wheelchair. The battery went down. She said, I got to walk, Daddy. <laughs> when God Get ready. You got to move. And God was ready for that sister to move. In the midst of her affliction, he said, you still got to move for me. And I like that the resources that is in the star, when we find out we go to places and we want help, we don't tell nobody at the star. But when you go get the help, Star sitting up in there. I'll leave that alone. I'm just blessed as the under shepherd here at the star to have a beautiful family. Resources after resources. And it's all God. The beauty of it, they got love. And they show it in action. So this week, continue to show love to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving to you for me and my family, me and First Lady. God bless you. There are going to come a time when this COVID-19 and the executive orders decrease. We can come back and fellowship the way we do. Put on your old clothes, loose clothes. Some of you are still in pajamas, but you better put on a pair of jeans or something. You're going to find out you can't wear your clothes when we get open up for the church. Oh, yeah, I went there. Put on some clothes for Thanksgiving and see can you wear your clothes. <laughs> Hallelujah. I thank God for our son. He went out to L.A. I didn't, wasn't pleased with it, but his job told him to go to L.A. I will find out what's going to happen. Something's going to be live on Thanksgiving. Our son, Timothy, went out to California to do a little something, something. And it was a great opportunity. Some people that you see on commercials, he had opportunity to rub shoulders with him, but they wanted to do something for Thanksgiving. But do this for me. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, bless your family this week by saying yes to Jesus Christ. That's the best gift you can give. The blessed blessing you can bless your family is say, I surrender all to Jesus.
That's it. I'm, I, I'm going to let this mic. I'm going to back up because I can keep going. They, they stand up. Rob, y'all got enough? Y'all can sing us out. I know they just standing over there ready. Go ahead. Take us out. Go ahead. I know. They, you got something? Go ahead. I know it. They ain't come up here. Come on. All right. We out. Just wait. Go ahead. Just so loud. Yeah.